All right, I'm here with Sam Huber, who is the CEO and founder of Admix. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. So, um, could you tell our audience a bit more about Admix? What is it? So, Admix is a monetization solution for VR and AR. So, if you are a game developer or you have some content um, and you don't know how to make money with it, uh, you can use our technology to, to monetize it. And the way it works is um, what we call non-intrusive advertising, which is effectively brand placement. So you can place sponsored content within your experience. So it can be you know, a banner on a wall, it can be uh, a video playing on the TV screen, or it can be here, uh, you know, a bottle of beer that is branded, yeah. that really looks like it's part of your environment, but actually it's an ad. And every time someone sees it or interacts with it, the, the, the content owner actually makes money. That's so interesting. So I've seen your, um, your presentation just before, and um, I can also show it to the audience now. Um, so there was, there was a table and there was like a magazine there, I think, yep. and there was like a pizza box, perhaps. That's right. Right, and um, these things you can put them into your game, yep. and uh, simply by using Unity, for example, or. Yeah, yeah. So we have a, we have a basically three components of the tech. So we have a, a plugin, which is a, effectively a SDK uh, that if you're a developer, you can integrate with our with your content um, and then you can drag and drop areas placeholders so you could say okay i want a placeholder of this size here yes uh, and then from our platform you can actually decide what type of ads you want so you want something that is related to beer because the environment is you know it's relevant or if you want i don't know if you're in a, a football game you might want something that is sports related so you have control over the so type you can of choose exactly what kind of advertising goes there exactly we think that context is obviously key you know yeah. having uh, something uh, that is not relevant to the scene is a terrible experience mm -hmm. so we want to uh, enable the developers to have nice. control over that cool so like let's say um, I make a VR sports game and then uh, it plays in a stadium so I could make some uh, virtual um, billboards yeah yeah and um, then there will be like real real world ads That's in right. the virtual world yeah yeah so we connect to um, existing ad networks Okay. Um, and the idea behind this is that we don't need to go to each advertiser and yeah, you know okay. try to negotiate a campaign, yes. but we connect to big ad networks that have already have connection with thousands of advertisers. So every time you create a space, a billboard, it's sold instantly. So for you, it's instant revenue if you have an audience actively looking at those placements. And what becomes interesting in VR is that, of course, we have access to uh, gaze tracking, so where people are looking. Yes. So we only would charge the advertiser yeah. If the person actually, you know, interact with the ad, if the ad is here but I'm looking here, it's not a, it's not a valid impression. Yes. So it, it reduces fraud and uh, you know improves the performance of the cool. ad as well. Perfect. So um, I could make like a great game in VR, which is free. Like for example, yeah, Somnium Space or Rec Room or yep. any any of the fan favorites, and then I can start to monetize by simply putting your uh, Unity assets within my game. Is it? Did I grasp that correctly? That's exactly the plan. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, you know, we think that a lot of games may be paid for, yeah. um, and gamers are maybe happy to spend $30, $40 for a game, but we also see a lot of experiences like Somnium Space yes. or like High Fidelity, exactly. which are more entertainment or social, which you can't really sell. Yes. So there is the need for another business model, and we think that the right kind of advertising is the best way to do it. Cool. So. Basically, it's like AdSense for the VR world, right? That's pretty much it. That's yeah. how we used to call ourselves. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that, exactly. That's like the, the low concept pitch, right? Right. Like, okay, one sentence, um, yeah. AdSense yeah. for VR. Let's say Google. Okay, Google yeah. for Google VR. Google for VR. <laughs> okay, yeah, then you're up to something there. Right, right. You know, Google yeah. basically owns, owns the web. Exactly. They found a way to monetize the web. Websites, yeah. And we think that VR, AR, all immersive technologies are essentially a new interface, the next web yeah. 2.0 in a way and um, you know we think that advertising has an important role to play but we want to be the one doing it because we think we're doing it right and it could easily be done wrong okay. you know you could have all kinds of weird banners and it could be a terrible experience yes. so basically um, you know in a way we're saving VR from bad advertising nice but I believe that in the very first place there's not going to be so many advertisers who have these interesting ads like like a, a bottle so probably there must be some kind of way to ease the normal advertisers into it and you yeah. have some way to do that too that, that's that's a very good point so the way we're doing this is by supporting existing formats 
meaning banners and videos. So of course, you know, we love this kind of advertising yeah. because it's native. That's that's the dream. That's the the you know. The, the advertising of the future in these technologies. But like you said, no one has models of beer bottles yet. So what we're doing is we connecting to existing ad networks, we support the existing formats, then we adapt it slightly to make sure they look good. Okay. But you know, a company, a beer company, is surely advertising somewhere on the web on mobile yeah. so they can reuse those kind of creative and render them in VR. Okay, cool. So directly from the beginning, you will have like um, lots of content, those ads, because you're using the standard formats. Exactly, yeah. We, at the moment, we're very much limited by the VR worlds, the yeah. spaces that we can sell. We have a lot more buyers than sellers. Okay, got it. So, uh, but anyways, I can I can put some banner like uh, one by one into my um, game space, and then you're gonna fill it with some ads. Yeah, it goes on the up. fly. Yeah, on the fly. Yeah, it takes um, you know 200 milliseconds or something to give you the exact time. That's okay. that's the time it takes to you know request the server and uh, and serve the ad directly in your experience. Okay. So for the user, it's it's already there before you have time to look at it. Okay, cool. So um, if for example. Um, Say uh, I'm the maker of an awesome uh, VR game like uh, Rec Room, Somnium Space, or what. Um, how do I put your um, assets into my game? How does it work? So uh, there's basically two ways. So for the small studios that use Unity, for example, to create their environment, yeah. they can download our free Unity plugin okay. uh, from our website and soon from the Unity Asset Store. Mm -hmm. And then from there, um, and we can show a video, but they can basically drag and drop this placeholder saying, I want a banner on this wall. I want a video on this screen. Yeah, they can put and it then, anywhere they want. Right, right? and Just then they validate it, and then it's, it's sold immediately. Cool. Um, and for the other uh, worlds, which already have a marketplace, like you know, high fidelity in the future Somnium space, yeah. what we're doing is we're pre-preparing elements, uh, for example, a TV mm -hmm. in their marketplace, and that TV is already serving real ads. Okay, so if cool. you're a user, yeah. you ju you're not a developer, you're just a user, you create your virtual world, mm -hmm. you can drag and drop this TV, and instantly you can make revenue from your own world. Wow, that's incredible. So is um, AdMix already live? Is it working now already? Or? It's working. So we, we're okay. in beta at the moment. Uh, so next step, we'll be integrating with Somnium. We're integrating with a couple of other games as well. Uh, and so we're not fully you know, public, yeah. uh, but uh, you can easily sign up on our website. And we're just releasing the plugin to more and more developers every day. Perfect. And uh, yeah, today was the Somnium Spaces launch party here. And you are already um, working together with them. Yes. Uh, yeah, we, you know, um, the guys at Somnium Space have been big, big fans of what we're doing. Yeah, they, cool. They're relying on advertising okay, of as a business model. So yes. um, we have a very close relationship, and we're working on other, um, other projects together as well, such as the interoperability, so the ability to go from one app to another, uh, for example, which is slightly beyond advertising, but mm. it's also a way potentially to monetize your your content. Nice. So basically what you are doing right now, you're talking with all the game developers. Game developers, uh, yeah. We, yeah right? we, we have about 160 developers that are signed up. Nice. Um, and in, in primarily we're looking at social applications. We think that, like I said before, beyond games, what's really exciting is this application where a lot of people can come, they can watch videos together, mm. they can just you know chat around the table where there's a bottle of beer. I mean, yeah, it's just like the real world. So, um, just like here. <laughs> just like here. So yeah, that's who we, we're targeting in, in okay. the first step. Yeah, wow, sounds incredible. Um, I'm just wondering, um, do you have competition? Because this idea seems to be like so good. Right. So normally if there's great ideas, there's more than one company who has it. Yeah, no, we do have, we do have, uh, it's about five or six companies okay. that want are to do something similar. looking at the project. Yes. Um, Different execution, I would say, okay. in the way that you know we can connect to to ad networks and our availability of, of this demand side. Okay. Um, and you know we've it's it's going to be about execution and, and course, basically like that. connection with with the best type of yes. apps and the best type of inventory. Exactly. So that's so, why we're here. So you need to get um, ad mix into the best apps, the best games, right? That's it. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Okay, guys, there. Yeah, game developers. Yeah, Rec Room. <laughs> Go get in touch with. <laughs> Absolutely. With, with Sam here, right? Yeah, we're already talking to, to quite a few. Okay. Uh, some of them, you know, take take longer than others to integrate. Yeah. But um, I think that as the product develops and these companies need to find ways to, to monetize, I think mm -hmm. that um, our solution will come very handy. So we, we're very excited to be a part of this market. 
cool. So, um, Sam, tell me a bit about your company and uh, how long does it exist? How did everything start? How many people are you right now? Where are you located? Yeah, so we are based in London. Uh, started pretty much exactly a year ago. Okay. Uh, now we're up to seven people. Okay. Um, we raised a, a seed round last year, we're raising again now. And uh, the goal now that we have the product ready and you know the first integrations ready is really to, to go large and, uh, okay. and to integrate with as many, many developers as possible. Nice. So now um, Series A is happening now or what? what? Uh, we're about to open it, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how much do you want to raise? Uh, so we're raising, that would be $2 million. Okay. okay, so dear investors, yeah, I think um, there's a very interesting model here right now. Uh, exi very exciting actually. And yeah, two million. Is, yeah, that's great. Two that should help us. Um, you know, it's it's still the very early days of, of the market. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, we think that there's also not that many developers out there. So with a yeah. small team, we can probably talk to, to a lot of them. Um, and uh, yeah, just you know, it's about awareness. A lot of developers don't even know that there is a way to exactly. monetize in that way. So it's uh, yeah, we're educating every day. Cool. So hopefully um, now, thanks to this interview, more and more game developers will know about Ethnix sure. and that actually, um, yeah, you can monetize your games in this kind of cool way by putting these assets into your game. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. Incredible. Sam, so happy to talk with you and to, to learn about Ethnix and I'm sure we're going to hear much more about your platform. <coughs> Thank you very much for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So definitely check out Ethnix um, on ethnix.com for the in. Admix.in yep. yep. for developers and uh, yeah, find out more about Admix and how you can put Admix into your game. And that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.